part 15 of rebuilding a very old horizontal steam engine. You'll be pleased to know there is no painting in this episode. I'm making gaskets. I thought I know I will make some gaskets because it's better than painting. There are a couple of ways to make gaskets. One is to simply draw around the component, then cut out the gasket. So what is this creeping into the picture I hear you ask? This is a cheap math set that a friend of mine gave me, and I use the compass from it. Most steam cylinder covers a machine like this, with a register in the middle. This register fits into the bore and aligns the cylinder cover on the cylinder. So the gasket that you're making for the front cylinder cover and the rear cylinder cover will need to have a hole in the middle. The outer diameter of the front cylinder cover is 3 and 3 eighths of an inch. I won't bother looking up the metric equivalent because this is a very old engine and the cylinder cover really does measure 3 and 3 eighths of an inch. There are no metric parts on this engine at all, they are all imperial. The first thing I'm doing is putting a dot in the middle so I know where the point goes. And here's the point of the compass going onto the dot, and then I simply draw a circle on the gasket material. Although this is quite simple, the reason for me showing these figures on the video is that some people I meet don't seem to know anything about fractions. The next bit is easy, I need a 2 inch hole in the centre of this gasket material, so I set the compass to 1 inch, which then draws a 2 inch diameter circle. Next I'm placing the cylinder cover accurately on the gasket material, exactly over the line that I've just drawn with the compass, and then using a pen I just mark the position for the holes for the studs. As you can see this is not exactly rocket science, but you do need to hold the cylinder cover securely in position while you mark the holes. Then you need one of these. This is a hole punch, and they can be picked up for a few pounds, and they're very useful. The head of the hole punch is adjustable for different sizes. In this case, even the largest size is slightly small, but I can soon drill through this and clean up the hole. I can't get all the way around until I've cut out the gasket, so I'll do that next. Nothing to describe here, these are my old workshop scissors, and they've seen better days, but they work okay, and I'm just cutting out the gasket. When you're cutting out gaskets like this, always stay to the outside of the line, because if you cut the gasket oversize it's not a massive problem, as you can remove the excess once it's installed with a knife like this. But for a job like this, cutting out the centre of a gasket or removing someone's appendix, I would use a more refined knife like this one. This is a surgical scalpel. These are normally incredibly sharp, you can cut yourself just by looking at them, but this one isn't, it's a very old blade, and even Jack the Ripper would struggle with this one. And it took a couple of passes to remove the centre of this gasket, but I got there in the end. The next thing to do is to make a gasket for the steam chest, and with this not being a circular device you can't use a pair of compasses. So what I'm doing is just drawing around the component, truing up the lines, and as you can see I'm using the larger knife to cut out the centre. The scissors take care of the outer edge, purposely cutting it over size, removing the corners, and then in a similar way as with the cylinder cover, I place the component on top of the gasket and I mark out for the holes. But I can't use a pen, it won't fit in this hole, so I'm using a needle file to mark the positions of the holes on the gasket material. Then it's a simple job once again using the punch to punch out the holes. And here are the pair of gaskets for the steam chest and the steam chest cover. You will notice that the gasket intended for the steam chest cover does not have the centre cut out. Here is the completed gasket that I made for the front cylinder cover, but it doesn't fit very well because there's still a lot of the original gasket stuck around the centre register. In the next episode I'm going to be cleaning up some of these parts, so I'll show it in due course. High quality gasket material such as this is commercially available and very suitable for steam engines. These are some offcuts that I've been using that I was given a while back, but sometimes I buy it from my friends at Blackgates Engineering. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful.